Strong wind, heavy snow, and frigid temperatures sweeping across. A major winter storm that dropped heavy snow in the Plains and Rockies on Wednesday is now spinning its way across the upper Midwest and Great Lakes region, where it's expected to drop a few more inches of snow Thursday while continuing on its eastward trek. The storm system worked its way into the upper Midwest and Great Lakes region during the day on Thursday, with the highest impacts seen in Minnesota, central and northern Wisconsin and Michigan. About 3 to 5 inches of snow fell in Minneapolis earlier Thursday with the higher amounts measured on the southern side of town. Wisconsin was expected about 5 to 8 inches of snow in the storm. Winter storm warnings remain in effect across portions of southeastern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin and parts of Michigan's Upper Peninsula into late Thursday. Winter weather advisories also remain in effect for the Minneapolis area, Duluth, Minnesota, and areas of northwestern Wisconsin. Northern Michigan, including Alpena, is also under a winter weather advisory. Denver picked up 9.1 inches of snow from the storm Wednesday, which is now the city's eighth largest January snowstorm on record. Overnight, two major storms causing problems from coast to coast. Emergency crews have made more than 50 rescues after people got trapped in the... We have decided we got to chase this storm all the way across the United States. And all that snow led to a massive crash involving at least a dozen vehicles and tractor trailers on Interstate 70 outside Denver. Several roads and highways remained closed in Colorado Thursday morning, including I-70 in both directions from Denver to the Kansas border and I-76 in both directions from Sterling. Colorado, to the Nebraska border. And in Nebraska, some areas, like Custer County, picked up nearly two feet of snow from the powerful winter storm. North Platte, Nebraska, picked up 13.9 inches of snow on Wednesday, which set a new daily snow record for the city. The previous record was 12.6 inches, set on March 21, 1894. 